Tonight at 11, no decision for a proposed Chick-fil-A in Ocean Way. The city's land use and zoning committee decided not to vote tonight, but instead to look at the results of a traffic study. Andrew Badillo is on your side live outside of City Hall. So Andrew, I know neighbors had a lot to say tonight. What did they say? Yeah, Heather, neighbors were inside this meeting for about six hours. We had to dip out a little early, but I did actually just get off the phone with a neighbor who said she had some mixed feelings about tonight's meeting, but because the proposal is being deferred, she took it as a half a win, knowing that they will kind of live to fight another day. Um, neighbors tonight were pointing towards the traffic concerns of this development, saying that it would spill into their neighborhood. As it is proposed right now, this development would have the Chick-fil-A entrance inside the North Creek subdivision across from First Coast High School. Neighbors' comments tonight were enough to convince the LUZ committee to defer their vote two months to give the developer enough time to do a traffic study in the area. The Planning Commission recommended approval for the project with the condition a traffic study was done after approval. The committee wants to see that study done before the project is approved. Neighbors described the issues they believe the current project would pose. This Chick-fil-A will create a traffic nuisance. Using our entrance would set a precedent in Jacksonville, Florida to allow an entrance to a subdivision to be an entrance to a restaurant. This is just unsafe for vehicles. It's unsafe for pedestrians. Would you want this? A neighbor sat in the meeting for five hours and weren't too happy knowing they had to come back for another public hearing. Council member Raul Arias isn't exactly sure the traffic study will help either side. Even if it comes back where you need a traffic light, logic tells me, all right, that it's going to make matters even worse because now to leave the neighborhood, cars are stuck in a, in a queue to leave the neighborhood now because of the traffic light. This is a lose-lose situation, regardless of what happens. So the next public hearing is set for April 16th. At that public hearing, though, neighbors will only be able to talk about the findings of this traffic study, but the committee will be able to talk about the traffic study and all of the concerns that they've been hearing from neighbors throughout this entire process when factoring into their decision. Once a decision is made at LUZ, then this proposal will eventually go before the full city council. But of course, it is contingent on what happens at that April 16th meeting. Reporting live in downtown Jacksonville, Andrew Badillo, First Coast News on your side. Following